This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple logo design using GIMP. So I'll go ahead and get started here in GIMP. The first thing I want to do is create a new document. So I'll go to File, New, and then want to size the document at 1280 by 1280 pixels. And then I'll come down here to Advanced Options, and I just want to make sure we have the fill width set to Transparency. Then go ahead and click OK. And here we have our new document. So let me zoom out of this a little bit so I can see the entire canvas. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a couple of times like that. And you can move the page around by pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So what I want to do to set up my, uh, my document here is I want to add some guides going on the vertical and horizontal axis. So to do that, I'll go to um, Image, Guides, and New Guide by Percent. And I want to set this one to Direction. I want that set to horizontal and the percentage to be 50. Go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, we have a horizontal guide going halfway through the document like that. And then I want to do the same thing again, only creating a vertical guide. So I'll go to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percent. And I'll set this one to vertical. And go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do is just come over here to where it says View and make sure we have Snap to Guides enabled. It should be enabled by default, but just in case it's not, go ahead and make sure you have that selected. So the first thing I'm going to create here is the actual border going around the outside of the logo. So I'm going to create a, um, a circle. So come over here to the Ellipses tool, and I'm going to bring the cursor over to where these two lines intersect the two guides in the center of the canvas. And then I'll just click and drag, and then I'll hold Control and Shift on the keyboard to lock it, the proportions so that we're creating a perfectly round circle like that. And I'll bring it about three quarters of the way through the document like that, and then go ahead and let go. And when you open up GIMP, your, your default foreground and background color should be black and white. But if not, just go ahead and set that. Go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color, and that's going to make that circle black. And then we can go to Select, None. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another circle the same way, just a little bit smaller. So let me bring the cursor back to the center of the canvas here. Click and drag, hold Control and Shift to create a perfectly round circle. And I'll make this one a little bit smaller, maybe about that big, like that. And then I want to press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that area in there. Now, if you're using a Mac, from what I've heard, pressing Delete on the keyboard doesn't work. So what you could do is go to Select. I oh, know, I'm sorry. You go to Edit, Clear if you're using a Mac. And once we've done that, we can go to Select None. And now I want to take the opacity of this layer over here, bring the opacity down about in half. And then I want to create a new layer on top of this. So I'm going to come over here to this icon down here that says Create a New Layer and add it to the image. If you're having trouble seeing those icons down there, sometimes that happens, like these icons get cut off. You could just size, you could just take this window and expand it a little bit like that, and then those icons become visible. So just go ahead and click this Create a New Layer and add it to the image. Make sure we have all of these values set. We want it set to Transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And what I'll do now is do the same thing we did with the circle, only creating a square. So come over here to the Rectangle Select tool. Bring the cursor to the center of the canvas. Click and drag and hold Control and Shift. And I'm going to make this square slightly smaller than the circle but big enough so that the corners are sticking out of the edges of the circle, as you see on my screen here. Maybe something like that. And then again, we'll go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. Let me bring the opacity of this layer down about in half as well. And then we can go to Select, None. And then again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create another square going in there. Hold Control and Shift. And I'll make this one slightly smaller than the previous square, like that. And then we can press Delete on the keyboard to delete that area, and then go to Select, None. So what I want to do now is just rotate this around, because as you can see here in this mock-up here, um, the corners are going vertically and horizontally. They're not going, the, the square isn't sitting flat like that. So to do that, let me go to the rectangle, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, Rotate tool, and then just click on the uh, square and just click and drag to rotate it around like that. And if you hold Shift, it locks it onto 15 degree angles which means you can get it going perfectly vertical like that. And we can let it go and then just press Enter on the keyboard to finalize that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out certain areas of each the circle and the square to make it look like it's underlapping and overlapping with each other like that. So to do that, I want to create a new layer, add it to the image, <clears throat> click OK, 
come over here to this previous layer in the middle, right click that and go to alpha to selection. And then go to select. Uh, we're looking for grow. And then I'm going to grow this by about, I'd say, 15 pixels. Go ahead and click OK. And now we can click on our top layer up here. And we can go to edit, fill with foreground color. And then we can go to select none. Now what I want to do now is, first of all, I want to bring the opacity down so I can see the other objects. I just want to make this a different color so that I could differentiate it from the circle and the square. So I'm going to go to colors, curves. There's actually a lot of different ways you can do this. I just like doing it this way because I think it's easier. Just go to colors, curves, choose the red value, and then take this node and bring it all the way up like that and click OK. And there it will be red. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the eraser tool and I'm just going to erase segments of the square, the red square that overlap with the circle. So let me uh, bring, let me make this brush a little bit bigger like that. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to go ahead and erase that area where it's intersecting with the circle. We don't want this red portion touching any of the circle over here. And then for this side, we'll leave that side as it is. And then we'll come over here and we'll erase this side right here. Make sure none of that red area is touching the circle. And again, to move the page around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. I'll come over here and do the same thing. Erase that red area. And then up here, erase this red area as well. And what we could do now is let me hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to now right click that layer. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to right click that layer and go to alpha to selection. And then I can delete that layer with this button right here that says delete this layer. And then click on the original layer down here in the bottom. And then just press delete on the keyboard. And that's going to delete out the area where it was overlapping with the circle. And now we can go to select none. Now if you notice here, it looks like the square is going over the circle at these areas. So what we want to do now is make it look like the circle is going over the square at the opposite areas. So to do that, I'm going to right click on this background layer and I'll go to alpha to selection. And again, I'll go to select grow and I'm going to grow it by the same amount that we previously used, which in this example was 15 pixels. Click OK. And now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to click on this top layer and create a new layer above that. So click the uh, new layers button. Click OK. And then we'll go to edit. Fill with foreground color. And I'm going to take the opacity of that and bring that down about in half. Go to select none. And again, we want to make this red so that it's easier to differentiate it from the other items. So we'll go to colors, curves. We'll go to the red channel and bring that node all the way up and click OK. And what I will do next is I will grab the eraser tool. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel. And I just want to make sure I'm going to erase these red areas right here where they're coming close to where the square is. We don't want that anywhere near the square because it will overlap a little bit. So I just want to make sure I'm erasing that out of there. Again, like this here, this is coming awfully close to that square, a little too close for my comfort. So I'm going to erase that out of there. Same thing up here. And we will go to right click that layer, alpha to selection. Click on the uh, layer in the middle right here and press delete on the keyboard. And then we can go to select none and then click on this top layer up here and then just press this X to delete that layer. And if you, what we could do now is we could bring the opacity of that layer all the way up and take the opacity of this layer and bring that all the way up. And you can see we now have the border for our logo. So all we have to do now is add some text in there. So to do that, uh, let me click on the top layer so we have that selected. I'm going to go to the text tool. And for the font, I'm going to use uh, League Gothic, but you could use whatever font you'd like. If you'd like to use League Gothic, I will put a link to that in the description of the video. I'll have a link to the, po the, uh, the post I made for this video that has all of the resources on it. Uh, I'm just going to click on the canvas and I'm just going to write logo in all caps. Let me make that a little bigger. That looks pretty good. Let me grab the move tool, move this over here like that. And what I want to do is just make sure it's centered up on the document. So I want to go to layer, crop to content, and then I'll grab the alignment tool, which is over here. 
and then click on that word to make sure we have it selected and you'll know it's selected and activated when you see these four nodes in each corner and I want to set the align relative to the image and then just center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that and then finally I'm just going to add some um, some other text here as if you see I did simple and design above and below logo so let me grab the text tool uh, click here I'm just going to write simple oops let me bring that down that's too big I'm going to use a different font for this one the font that I'm using here is actually called uh, Avent Guard I won't have a link to that one because this is a premium font that you have to buy a license for but if you like the font I would recommend buying it because it's a it's a really nice font I use it for my own logo and all of my branding so I would check that out if you're interested I'm gonna bring the size of this down and increase the spacing between these letters right here where it says um, well there should be a little tag coming up that says increase spacing between letters but it's not showing up but that's what that does um, let me grab the move tool Actually, let me duplicate this layer where it says simple. I'm just going to duplicate that with this button that says create a duplicate of the layer. Grab this move tool and just move this down here. Oops. Make sure I see that. There we go. Grab the text tool. Click on that to get the cursor in there. And then just change this to design. You're probably not going to want to write the same thing I'm writing. You can add whatever whatever wording you'd like in here I'm just showing you this as an example and just like before I'm gonna to go to layer crop to content and then go to the alignment tool click on the text to activate it and just make sure we have it centered up on the vertical axis like that and I'll do the same thing with this layer right here we'll go to layer crop to content and I should mention that once you select crop to content it's gonna change it so that it's no longer a text item so make sure you don't want to make any more edits to the text like you don't want to change the lettering or the wording at all otherwise you're gonna to have to create an entirely new text object so once I've done that I'll just take this and move this down a little bit I'm gonna grab the alignment tool click on that center it on the vertical axis which it looks like it already is and what I could do now is I'm just going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. If you notice, let me deselect that alignment tool. If you notice, we have finished our simple logo design. What you could do now is you can go to File uh, and go to Export As. And you could choose to save this as a .png file. And it will export it as a .png file with a transparent background. So you could take this image and lay it on top of whatever you would like and the uh, the background will show through so long as it's not a black background because we used black to create the logo so that's how you can go about creating that simple uh, logo design with GIMP however if you would like me to create a custom logo for you then head over to logosbynick.com to check out my portfolio and some of my pricing options if you have any questions let me know and as always thanks for watching